Hi, in this tutorial I will give an overview of bug reporting and bug tracking with AC DevOps. Here you see the contents of this tutorial. First, a short introduction to AC DevOps. Then we will uh, go into how we can uh, report bugs in AC DevOps. And then finally how we can track those bugs and monitoring uh, the different bugs uh, using so-called queries. Let's start using AC DevOps. You can basically uh, open your uh, Google and web browser, just search for Azure DevOps if you haven't used Azure DevOps before. Then just click on this link, Azure DevOps. Uh, and here you can start for free. So then I just click on this link. And then now I have already uh, created an account. But if you haven't already created an account, you need to create an, a Microsoft account. And then the next step is to create a new organization. So just uh, uh, enter a name, uh, a unique name for your organization. It could be anything. And then you have created an organization. You need to create uh, a project. So then I have already made some project here, but let's create a new project. So then you just click this button here, new project. And then you need to specify a name for your project. Um, I can call it um, so assuming you are going to create a patient system or something and then I can just name my project patient system then typically you select private and here is under advanced you select uh, you are not going to use uh, version control in this tutorial but typically you need to select it and then here under work item process you typically want to select scrum and then just create in order to create a new project T typically takes a few seconds so now we are ready to start using Azure DevOps uh, Azure DevOps is basically a tool for software engineering where you can use it for planning, collaboration, source code control uh, a guide and scrum um, pro project planning um, but in this tutorial, we will use it for bug tracking and bug monitoring. Uh, typically, then we can just go to um, to boards here, uh, click work items, and then here under this plus sign, new uh, work item. We have different types of work items that are available in Azure DevOps. In Scrum, we typically use the product backlog item and the task and the feature work item, but now we are going to focus on reporting bugs, so then we are using this uh, work item uh, called bug. Then I just click on this one. And then here typically you need to enter a title and then you can add more information regarding this uh, bug report. So then assume you have found some bug in our patient system. Then um, can type some bugs here, search button, not working something and then you can just click the save button or enter and then if you go back to work items here we, you see that this uh, bug has been uh, created in this list so let's just create some more um, let's find some other bugs so I just uh, figure out some uh, imaginary bugs um, the doctor can't see all the patient in the search list. Click save. And now I'll go back to work item. So now we have created two bugs. Let's create uh, a couple more bugs. Um, the patient can't log into the system so now we have created three different bugs and let's create just one more the, the doctor can't search for um, additional patient uh, data or something. So now we have created four different bugs. 
that we find here in the list. And then also we can add more relevant info regarding the, these different bugs. You can either do it when uh, we create a new bug here. In addition to the title, we can fill out different um, items here like area, iteration, or we can uh, uh, reproduce uh, the bugs, different steps here, different systems in info like uh, what kind of operating system, uh, web browser uh, are you using, etc. All this additional information makes it easier for the developer to find uh, the bug and uh, fix it uh, later. You can also set priority, severity, uh, etc. So typically you should fill out as much as possible uh, for these different fields uh, for each uh, bug that you report. If you already have uh, reported some bugs, you can also click on them in order to edit them. So just click on uh, the title and then you can add more information regarding the bug that you have already created. So let's start by um, assigning some a specific person to that uh, bug. So then here in the list here, you can you will get a list of all available members of your project. In this project, I'm the only member, so I just select myself. And then if I go back to the list here, you see that this specific bug has been assigned to, to me. I can do the same for other bugs as well. So I just select the name. Ass assign uh, the necessary person. Like this. So now I have four bugs and all bugs are assigned to me. Um, I can also enter some um, information regarding the area and iteration, but first, in order to do that, you typically need to go uh, to the organization, uh, sorry, to the project settings, which you find here in the bottom. So if I click here, project configuration, here you can specify iterations and areas. And then here we have different uh, iterations, sprint 1, 2, 3, etc. You can of course change the name and you can set a start date, stop date, etc. And also here under areas, you can specify different areas. So assuming we have two different modules, then I can click here, new child. Assume we have a um, patient application and assume we have a doctor application like this and then you can create more um, areas here but let's just stick with those two so our patient system consists of a doctor application and a patient application so then let's go back to the, um, our work items so then assuming this one is for the um, Uh, doctor application, then I just select area and uh, doctor application and save. I go back to my list and then you see here under area path that this bug has been found in the doctor application. Assume this bug has also been found in the doctor application, so I select um, the same here, save it, and then you see I'm assuming these two are found in the patient system in the patient application and I just select patient application and then you see this is assigned to the doctor application I select sorry uh, um, this one is assigned to the patient application and these two to the doctor application and then finally I also find uh, put this in the patient application like this. So now we have two bugs in the patient application and two bugs in the doctor application. And you can also set uh, the iterations of assuming you have found this, this bug in, uh, in the sprint uh, one. Then I just select this one. I can do the same for others. And also, I don't see this uh, field here in this list, but you can um, select column option 
and then you can select which columns that you want to see in this view. So then here in the list I want to show the ID, the title, assigned to, and the area path, and then I also want to show uh, the iteration. So then click add a new column here and just type iteration path. Select that one and click OK. And then you see I will get the list here with the title assigned to area and iteration. So this is uh, found in sprint one, assuming that these are found in another sprint. So I just select here. This is found in sprint two. Here and um, this is found in uh, sprint number three, and finally this last one is also found uh, in sprint number one like this. So now we have created four different bugs, and then you can see information regarding these bugs here in the list. You see the title assigned to area and iteration and if you need more information regarding the different bugs you can just click on them in order to see the other relevant information like these reproduction steps, system info, priority, severity, etc. So that's how we create uh, bugs or report the bugs in uh, this Azure DevOps system. And also here in this list you see all available bugs, but assume you only want to see some specific uh, bugs. Let's assume you only want to see the bug uh, reported uh, last day, bugs re assigned to a specific person or assigned to a specific area, etc. Then we can use something called the queries. So let's just go to queries here and then we just click new query. And then you can specify some search criteria here. So assume I want to find bugs. So then I start by finding um, work item type should be equal to uh, bug. And then I just remove these two. So now this query will find all the um, work items of type bug. So then just click run query here and then you see we find all these four uh, queries and then you can save this one you can save it either as a my query or a share query my queries are only seen by me while shared queries are shared with your team members so then this since this is a query for showing all the bugs typically this could be a shared query and I can name it all uh, bugs or something, click OK. And then, then I now click the queries here. I will um, find my uh, query here, all bugs, and I can just uh, click on it. And then I will get the list of all the bugs that are reported in the system. And then I can click on it, and then I will see additional information here to the on the right side. can also make this is a, 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 this is as a, as a favorite so I just click on this one and then when I click on queries here now you have two here my favorites then all the queries that I have set to be my favorite will appear here and here we will get the list of all available bugs so let's create a new uh, query I just start by selecting um, work item type like this should be equal to to bug and then I run it I get all the bugs but assume I only want to get the bugs um, that are assigned to me then I should just click here add new clause select assign to equal to and here I can select either a specific uh, person uh, for instance me or I can use this built-in at me uh, like this I run it since all the bugs are assigned to me I will get all, all the bugs like this 
Uh, but let's save this list. I will save it in shared queries. Um, bugs. I can call it um, my bugs or something. Click OK. I can also pin it here and then on the queries I will find all two bugs. Uh, all bugs and my bugs. So this is the favorite, but if you click all, you can find uh, shared queries uh, here and my queries here. So far I have only uh, created shared queries, so you find it here, all bugs and my bugs. But let's click on um, my bugs. So, so far all the bugs are assigned to me, but let's assume this bug is not assigned to me. So then I just remove my name, save it, run the query once more, and then you see that bugs are disappearing from the list. And also this one should not be assigned to me, so I just remove it, click save, run the query, and then you see, no, I see only the bugs that has been assigned to me uh, like this. So let's create another query, so then I just go to queries, select new query, so now let's assume I want to find all bugs that are reported uh, today. So I'll just remove these. I'll start by finding um, work item type. Equal to to bug and then create a new one. And then I can find the created date. Then here I can specify a specific date, but I can also use this built-in at today, like this. And if I run this query, I will find all the bugs that has been created today. And since I have created all these four bugs today, we will get this list with these four items. But if I run this query tomorrow uh, and I don't report any new bugs, the list will be empty because it will only show the bugs that has been created uh, today. So let's just save this one. As now I can save it as uh, my query. Um, I can name it new bugs or something. I can also pin it here. And now if I go to queries, you see I have three favorites, and here under all I have one query that called uh, new bugs it, that will be only available for me while these share queries all bugs and my bugs will also be available for the other team members so basically that's how you use Azure DevOps uh, both for um, uh, bug, um, bug reporting then you select work items click new um, work item of type bugs and then you will get a list here and if you want to track these bugs you use the queries here you can create different queries uh, like I have created here like a query that show all the bugs a query that show my bugs a query that only shows the bugs that have has been reported today etc so let's summarize in order to create a new bug you just select work items then click off select uh, the work item type of bug and then you enter as much as possible uh, regarding uh, that bug in addition to the title you should select uh, or assign it to a specific person you can specify area iteration reproduction steps system information like uh, operating system uh, web browser whatever select priority severity etc and you can also click here on this uh, icon in order to add um, screenshots etc that makes it easy easier for the developer to find the bugs and fix the bug and also if you choose to use the areas then you can divide the bugs into different areas or applications uh, etc so yeah then you can create different areas for different applications you can create an area for documentation uh, whatever. 
and also uh, make sure that you add as much information as possible for each bug. Typically, a uh, bug needs to have a title, but you should also specify area, iteration, you should assign to a responsible person, you should set priority, severity, and you should also specify a more detailed description and information here in these fields, uh, like uh, reproduction steps, system information, and also you should add some images or screenshots that makes it easier for the developer uh, to, to find these bugs and fix them. So the next step then, when you have created lots of bugs, you typically want to use the queries in order to find the bugs um, in the system. Then typically you can create a new query and then you can create different queries. You can use also these built-in features to assign to uh, at me. Then you will get a list of bugs that are assigned to you. So that's handy to know about. Uh, and also make sure to save the queries either as a under my queries or shared queries depending on uh, on you want um, because shared queries then the queries will be shown or can be used by all members but typically you only also uh, sometimes want to create some queries that only you have access to and then you put it in under my queries you can also use this at today in order to to make a query that, uh, let's say in this case, um, find bugs that has been uh, created uh, today. You have also other built-in uh, uh, parameters that you can use in order to create specific types of queries. So that's also good luck with Azure DevOps and bug uh, reporting and bug tracking. Thank you and goodbye.